The United States says it will expel 7,000 Ghanaians this year for breaching terms of their visa agreement. The Ghanaians are said to have overstayed their permits and were currently at different stages of their deportation process. This comes as after the United Kingdom blacklisted three serving legislators of Ghana's parliament of a visa fraud. The move is in line with promises by U.S. President Donald Trump that his government will deport illegal immigrants and immigrants with criminal records as part of his immigration laws to be rolled out. Let's get you more. CGTN's Daniel Brinches joins us live from Washington. Daniel, what more do we know about the Ghanaian immigrants and the deportation threat facing them? Well, there are estimates that there are about 235,000 Ghanaians living in the United States. Uh, in the case of Africa, their usual context is that uh, Africans come into the United States legally but then overstay their visa or don't get it renewed or don't take the necessary uh, uh, procedures to continue to live in the United States with the correct documents. Uh, so these 7,000 are likely to be individuals who've been identified for other law enforcement offences. That's the priority that's currently uh, being processed. There are no indications at this point that the Trump administration is going to switch gears uh, as the Obama administration uh, has continued to prioritize uh, people with criminal records. So typically what you might see with the Trump administration is someone might get caught for drunk driving um, and when they are caught, they are put through the records, uh, they are identified as being undocumented, they then have to go into a detention facility, they may try to appeal uh, their deportation, the whole process may take about six months, and then they are deported. Uh, so it's a, a sad situation for those individuals because often they are wrenched away from their families. It could be children, it could be wives, husband, cousins, uncles and aunts and the, the rest of it. But at the moment, uh, those who are not committing criminal offences uh, are not likely to be deported. Uh, Daniel, apart from the Ghanaians, are there any indications on just how many African immigrants could face deportation from the US as the Trump administration implements its immigration policy? Well, um, what I want people to understand here is that the Trump administration came in with a very strong populist message uh, that they would lead to mass deportations of immigrants. On the one hand, that's, uh, that's partially true in that this is obviously a priority of the Trump administration. But don't forget that the Obama administration was doing very similar things in terms of practically uh, prioritizing uh, people who committed criminal offenses. Perhaps Donald Trump is uh, signaling that those who've committed minor offenses will now be prioritized more. Um, it's also dependent on where you live because some states and cities are not cooperating with the Trump administration. So, for example, if you were caught for drunk driving or, or going through a traffic light and the police caught you, they wouldn't automatically uh, uh, report you to the federal authorities dealing with immigration and therefore you would, in a sense, be protected or given asylum legally uh, from those kind of proceedings. So there are some variations, but uh, there are about 2.3 million African immigrants living in the United States. It's possible that between 40 and 50 percent of those are undocumented, but it's certainly true that despite all of the fear-mongering uh, that has been created by the rhetorical stance of the Trump administration, there's no evidence to suggest at this point that people are simply going around and trying to round up illegal immigrants, uh, only those who come into the focus of the law enforcement community. All right. Daniel Branch's live for us in Washington. Thank you for joining us.